last get to sign in. Okay, so this is a sample document. Um, it could be anything. It could, it could be grammar or, or marking schemes or whatever. You may decide then you want to save that to your own My Documents. So someone may say, well, that's kind of handy. I think I'll save that. They can come over here and they can save it as. And they can save it away um, without without changing it. Okay, and they, they go off and save it into My Documents and so on. Okay. The other thing they can do is they can actually use it in class um, now, with an Excel document, it'll say to modify it, click edit the workbook. So I'm just going to edit the workbook. And it'll let me now make a change. So I'm going to put a dot in there, made a change there. So I've worked away with that. It could be a class sheet. And I come over here and I X use this close item or icon here in the corner. And it says, do you want to save the changes? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. If I don't want to make the changes, it will ba basically keep the document back. So if it was Mern's document that was originally uploaded and I don't save the changes, it will keep her name on it. But this is the nub. If I put this dot in and I say yes, my name now becomes um, the last person to edit that document and it's my name that, that, that shows in that document. A couple of thoughts on this. Um, these are PowerPoint. You know, there could be anything. Um, you can get into versioning, which I can deal with again. But sometimes it's nearly like, oh, you have to let it go. If you put something up there, if someone edits it, edits it, and they save the changes, their name will appear as the overwriter on it. But I'll, I'll talk to you about this again. So do I do I want to save the changes? No, I don't. So it's gone back now as it is. Okay. So I want to delete that. So I go into the document library. There's my folder. To delete that folder down, I simply select here on the right hand side. A couple of things I can do here. Edit properties means I can change the title. So maybe I, s I did a spelling mistake or it's the wrong year. I can go into edit properties and change the name or I can delete it. Now by deleting it, it's not completely gone because you can, this is a shared workspace. So people can actually delete each other's work. Um, probably happen by accident more so on purpose but if it does happen it doesn't get completely dele deleted it goes to the recycle bin so if you just keep your eye on that every now and again you'll see if things were deleted in error and you can restore them from there but in this case I'm going to get rid of the whole folder and its contents by hitting delete and it's saying are you sure you want to get rid of it and send it to the bin and I said yes and if I actually click on the bin now you can actually see it's there and these are other things that were put in so I actually could if for example click on it there and restore it and it puts it back to where it used to be computer knows in this case I don't I'm going to completely delete it so it's gone okay alright so using my breadcrumbs going back to VEC Gelga alright so that's the general documents library what you have over here on the left hand side is a, a more detailed document library so if you select that um, it looks a little bit confusing All right, I actually might ask him to get rid of this whole list section because that's what that is but what you're looking at is here the junior search leaving search TY and LCA general document library so for example if I want to work with the junior search cycle so if I select junior search general document library and I put this in earlier, I, I created a folder called Grammar. You can simply upload into that. So I'm going to create a new folder. So new, new folder. I'm going to call this Clon. Select OK. So basically you now have a folder called Clon that if you wanted to you can upload PowerPoints, test sheets, any sort of office document into here. I would say not to use this section for uploading photographs or videos but to use the picture library for that and there is a related videos library here as well if you are uploading videos um, it is actually quicker to, to, to well, obviously do it in a place where the, the broadband is quicker um, if you're in Dunshock and there's a really high speed there Beaufort is actually quite good as well so you should be okay um, but places like Rush Oats, the speed is actually quite slow. So, um, using, I'm going to delete these two down now again. So, delete and 
delete grammar. Okay, so these are kind of like storage areas um, that you can use. So going back to my VC Gelge, I again have my document library over here. And you have Junior Cert, Leaving Cert, TY, and Leaving Cert Applied, and a general picture library, which when you click into it, Hmm, I'm happy with that. That doesn't look great. I need to get Brian to look at that because the actual library didn't open up where I can upload. Okay, leave that one with me because again we should have just the normal page opening. The um other section is let me see something called a discussions area.